All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game number two between your father and Iron Rule. The semifinals. Um, I don't even remember who was what last game. Who was the Protoss last game? Your father? No, Iron Rule. Was. Iron Rule. All right, so Iron Rule taking the L. Your father uh, getting the victory. Just could not close it in uh, in eight minutes. Uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much the show of Reno. Now, I know there's a couple people that were like, yo, well, he was, he was pretty much going to win. Now, when I say down to eight minutes, the guy, he can't, like, grab... He can't be go down to, like, you know, uh, an extractor and and hold out, you know, for the last few seconds or run a drone on the other side of the map and, and, uh, and do it that way. If he's in there, the game is pretty much a GG done, donezo. Uh, and everything is pretty much already taken out, then it's, uh, you know, then then you lose the game. Not his main it hatch was, is still there. Still, There's still, still lings out on like, the field. It was like nine minutes. There were still lings on the field, two hatcheries. Like, there were still drones. Yes. So while technically if the game went for like an extra minute or two, probably fine. Yeah, of course he would have Well, but of course he would have won. Like t if it was a 10-minute rule, it'd be great. Yeah. But the problem is, is his four gate was late. Yeah, the proxy wasn't there. The proxy wasn't close um, enough. And he although wasted. yes, uh, in theory he he was bound to win that game, it just wasn't it wasn't closed quick enough. You know what I'm saying? Like the, when the we game said it has to be done. close. I mean, we've got like I said, like he's got to have like nothing on the field, but like <laughs> like if it, he has no units, he on has the absolutely field no units. There's, and a hatchery somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Because I mean, people could easily just go in and Start go hiding and, and hiding stuff. things. Yeah. Um. And and um. And Iron, Iron was totally fine. He, he knew the rules. He didn't complain about it. He, he totally knew it was up. He didn't close it in eight minutes. Uh, he made some mistakes, and, and that's the case. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, that, that's the show. I, I, I just wanted to re... Uh, re um, what's the word I'm looking for? And he didn't... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, I have no idea. Oh, you're not listening to me. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not... Uh, not, you know why? Because I'm off that game. We got people talking about how you whispered your whispered your father to stop building uh, units after the eight minute mark. Yeah, and but that's I, why he didn't hold. But his messages are turned message off. Message was turned off. And it was the wrong person yeah, anyway. It wasn't even the right build. It's that was the last game. All right, fucking figure it out, people. Who gives a shit? We're doing it live. It's We're technical it live. alpha. Let's go. Starting down here Fuck. in the bottom right position, we have you. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. I hate these things so oh much. Oh my sometimes. god, dude! I could just feel your frustration when well, you said "fuck." Well, I could actually. Fuck. It was it was palpable, man. I, I would could, throw that build out I at could this just, point. I could literally just the people. I can feel it, bro. Just hurting I can my feel, soul. I can feel your rage. Hurting my fucking soul. I know, I know, bro. But hey, just taking it's just taking years off my life. <laughs> <laughs> For no reason. Your father down here in the bottom right position, and up top, uh, up top right, we have Iron Rule. Iron Rule. He got power overwhelming. Player can defend with whatever they like, but all aggressive attacks must be done with Archons only. And our Terran player got the beloved Burton Cruiser operational. Player may defend, but any aggressive attacks. Must have at least one single battle cruiser, aka the Burton cruiser. If he dies, player must rebuild another Burton cruiser to lead the next aggressive attack. Yes, this should be pretty good. It's a very evenly matched build. Yeah, both of the builds will end up with uh, with reasonable units for for you know basically pushing out for an attack at around the same time, mm -hmm. give or take. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it should be pretty fun uh, to see how you know, what goes Ooh. down. Uh, now a good scout for the Protoss here is going to give uh, an advantage in that if he can figure out that there's a battle cruiser coming, so whether, you know he just has to spot the what's the name of that. Um, the, uh, the the structure required to start building battle cruisers. The um, not the start, fusion. The fusion core. Mm -hmm. uh, he spots that. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's gonna know. He's gonna he's gonna know. And if he just gets if he can if he can manage to get a couple of um, uh, high temps or something like that to get rid of the energy uh, on them, mm. then uh, then really. Well, no, I suppose he can't even do that because he has, he can only defend with the high temps, isn't that? Uh, yeah, you can defend, point? but because um, you can't attack, you can't attack with them. So, so that's 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 gonna be rough then because you know Yamada guns all over the place. 
Yeah, but the thing is, you only hit, he only needs one. Remember? Yeah, but it's the, not like he's massing BC. The, but the people that have won with this build have gotten have a few. Normally, gone with several BCs because if you're going to go all the way up to Tech Tree to get a BC, mm -hmm. you might as well get a few because one BC by itself, for the sake of the build, okay. But I mean, one BC by itself is probably one of the least most. It's like a carrier. Yeah. You get one carrier, it's like a paperweight. But it's it's the Burton Cruiser. I, it is right? the Burton it's, Cruiser. It's the leader of it the is. army. You can you have whatever. Turn bitches into precipitation. You can have whatever army your heart desires, as long as Burton Clu Cruiser is leading the way. That's yes. what this is e all about. E exactly. It's not really a BC build, but if you want to turn it into one, you can do all the power to you. Absolutely. You can duplicate Burton Cruiser as many times as you want. Mm-hmm. I like uh, I like the, uh, the the land you know the little uh, little mines or little mines laid around here some really random positions for some of these mines but they're there anyway. I'm um, I'm um, um, okay. So this is what your father's doing. He tell me what my father's doing. <laughs> oh, I don't know what your dad's doing right now, but uh, your father is he's doing the Burton Cruiser build, but in a way that we've never seen it yet. He's doing the one one one. He's gonna pump out that Burton Cruiser. As soon as humanly possible, and he's gonna try and end the game quickly. There's no expansion here. Every time that we've seen this Burton Cruiser build, we've seen the Terran expand, yeah. get a third, you know, go for the long game. This is totally different. He is proxying this bitch. He's bringing down uh, now a medevac where he's gonna group up his barracks units. Uh, and he's gonna move out forward. I don't know if he's gonna decide to bring these Widow Mines with him into the fight or leave these back at home. Uh, he's doing a good job at not allowing the Protoss to get any scouting information, but also the Protoss probably noticed that there is no natural there, and that's exactly what he did. So unless he's thinking maybe he brought one over here or he's doing something, it's a it's a it's a Maximus Black says tournament. He's got to know something fishy is going on. And just as I say that, the command center is finally going down. The Burton cruiser is going to finish up, and here comes the army. Yeah, and the Burton the Burton cruiser coming out quick, and the Burton cruiser already being uh, in position is a big plus. Yep. Uh, I mean, you can you can especially on an expansion get rid of a lot of workers very quickly with a single battle cruiser. Yep. And so it allows you to to put Burton to to work. <laughs> immediately and yep. actually get some value out of him and that's what you're gonna see here I'm not a hundred percent sure I agree with this he's gonna try and do a two-prong attack he is leading the army with an attack with the Burton cruiser and here comes a drop oh my god the high Templars can use but he's putting him in a position to he's go out of position with else. the widow mines are going down oh! oh no he blew up his own units oh that's the worst he blew up his own units with the widow mine this cannon is perfectly placed the Burton Cruiser is going to go down. The overcharge goes off. And this oh, is... Oh, the cannon's going to survive. Or will it? Oh! oh no! Five health. Get fucked. Oh, oh, my God. Everything's dead. Oh, wow. That, Everything died. That actually couldn't have went any worse for your father. I actually... I'm speechless. That's crazy. I'm speechless. I, what that, was he smoking? Why didn't he just... Why didn't he attack... Okay, a couple of things. One, why didn't he attack the worker mine? Why didn't he attack the pylon after... Because that just immediately gave away the Burton Cruiser and gave him tons of time. It well, did get his his units out of well, position. Well, he needed to lead the aggressive attack Well, yeah, attack but he could the have Burton just... He, the pylon was here. Yeah, 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 I suppose. I suppose. Fucking, yeah, they're right here. Yeah, just yeah, go yeah. and attack the freaking probes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, like, he went in here and he and he spent half the time blowing his own units up. He didn't get rid of the py uh, the pylon or the cannon. Could have just killed the pylon. Yep. Could've, I mean, there's so many things that went horribly wrong there for him. Well, he's still in this game, believe oh, he's it or not. not dead, but he's, he's got in five it. widow mines. That was a complete and utter yeah. fail. He's got to put some work another in. Another Burton cruiser's out. He is going to expand now. Those mules are going to bring in some serious coin. Uh, but these archons, though, he needs these widow mines to do wonders. Yeah, they got a Christmas miracle type shit right now. Like, I mean, absolute wonders. There's the overcharge. And so far, it's not doing anything. Burton's about to go down. Burton needs to run. Oh, he needs to run. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no Burton rip. goes. No. Rip. Burton's gone. Rip. Not enough widow mines. If he had like four or five more widow mines there, he would have wrecked everything. Yeah. But uh, no, those archons are a problem. Especially when you're going Marines and all you got is one Burton cruiser. It's not good. Now he's going to rebuild another Burton cruiser. Oh, oh shit. shit! That actually did some damage. Okay, that was that was real. I like, think he, I think he tagged. He got two stalkers. Shit, with that. he's got another burn cruiser again. Well, he's just he's just nonstop building them. He is them, proxying dude. them. Yes, yeah, uh, pretty he, smart. So he can just keep the battle going as long yeah, as he wants. He just you know he just keeps it, he just keeps it going. But yeah, speaking of he keeping it going, he puts the battle 
on cruise control. Drop the mic. You're not dropping this mic. Tell you that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Burn Cruiser's back. He's going to stop it. Oh, I nice mean, feedback. I mean, at this point, it looks like his, his idea is to just kind of creep his way up with widow mines and then have the Marine and Burton support the back. Yeah. Uh, he's going to need a lot more widow mines than this. And there's cannons out there. This overcharge is real. We're not playing Legacy of the Void where all you can do is overcharge a pylon, which can be killed immediately from a Terran that uses Stim. Uh, but that's not the case here. And the great thing about it is, for Iron Rule, he's got Defender's Advantage. He doesn't have that stipulation where he has to have Archons. He can get those feedbacks off and maybe even a storm onto this bio and just wreck everything. The only thing that I'm curious... Okay, there it is. Finally, he's going to get the Observer out. I was like, when is the Observer coming? Uh, you can also use Storm to take out uh, the Widow Mines, and yes. it takes two Storms to kill a Widow Mine at full health. Oh, really? Yeah, just Oh, really? Because, Jeff, that's awfully fucking specific. Well, I... It doesn't seem like that was something that you would just be able to pull out of the hat. Just off the top. If I ask something so specific as, how many Storms does it take to kill a Widow Mine... I know that. You but know how why? many Widow Mine shots does it take to kill a high temp? One. There you go. See? See, you know some of this shit? Yeah. Protoss right? specifics. Right? Except except for how many spore shots it takes to <laughs> kill <geez>. an Oracle. <laughs> I'm sure we'll know after this. I'm sure the comment section on that video will let us know. Yes. But I I'm, I was going to guess five. I think it, it, it just feels by the right. Look, by the looks of it, it, by the looks of it, he had like a sliver of shield left after after the first couple, so it looked like it was probably uh, five. Yeah. So you never know. I might be right about that too. Uh, okay. Well, he can't do anything but archons when he but does. But look his at the production attack. of of your father uh, uh, versus his opponent here. Is just. You know what's you know what's really there, funky well, about this game? There's the feedback that I was talking about. Uh, the, the thing that, that really gets me here is your father is actually a pretty damn good player. Just uh, in general. Yeah, he, his macro here is fantastic, and his reinforcing is great as well. Yeah. Like, he's got a stream here, and he's got his opponent concave. Now, the, the, I guess the only, the only, the, the odd benefit here, uh, of, um, Jesus, what's the answer? Iron? Iron. I keep thinking, Iron I, want, I keep wanting to think the, the, his last one. Iron Rule, uh, is, is that he's forced to constantly be in this defensive position, which has allowed him to basically use any units he wants, yeah. while building up his high temp composition. Yeah. So eventually, if he's he just keeps this out. up, he can just storm up like crazy, push out, and then just Archon everything, and be able to work himself out of here. But uh, there is a third battle cruiser out now, man, and that gets pretty damn scary, especially with these- Oh, huge storms going off. Forcing him to back off, getting rid of those widow mines, and those widow mines are the only thing that is keeping yeah. Iron from pushing out and just wrecking this uh, uh, this army. Because Iron can go out here and defend. Well, he needs to get out there at some point. He just can't make his way down to the map and do an aggressive attack uh, with without just purely archons. Some big storms going off, some feedbacks, but nice micro there uh, from your father, managing to take minimal damage. And he's got some SCVs here to repair these BCs as well. Uh, he's got, uh, I mean, this all just looks, in my books, this all just looks like your father is 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 doing this uh, properly in a different way than I would have expected for somebody going multiple BCs. Mm -hmm. He's just, he is continuously using that proxy, which is in a great place, great amazing location, by the way, yeah. for that proxy. Uh, but he's just slowly pumping one at a time, and because he's only just holding this line and creeping forward, it's allowing him to build up his BC count uh, in, in a way that also allows him to build his other units and, and not really take the crazy damage that would happen if he was if he was just sitting back and waiting uh, to attack. But, like I said, feedback's going to become a problem here, storms are going to become a problem, and then he's going to be able to get a lot of Archon, and it's... Oh, and he needs to get happening. rid of that other BC! Oh my god, oh, dude! right there! You need to, like, sack, like, three stalkers just to get go. rid of that. Just throw it in. Uh, he needs... You know what? I don't give a shit uh, what we say here about how, uh... Great how, game. How, yeah, this, for one, this is a really good game. Um, how well Iron is holding. Problem is, he's got no minerals here. He's on one base. Terran's on three. He needs to push out. 
And that's exactly what he's doing right now. These Widow Mines dealing huge damage to the Archons. Oh, Some storms. storms are going down. The Zealots are not enough. No charge. And it looks like... It looks like your father is going to wreck this army and take the game, Adam. After the huge failed attack, keeping him concave with those Widow Mines. So much value. And him just not picking off two or three BCs when they were down to nothing. Being able to repair those, now sitting on one base to three, the army is just continuously coming up here, and your father, like I predicted, will be going into the finals. Uh, wow, this guy is good, dude. He's good with Zerg. He's been good with Terran. He's he's he just he knows how to use that noggin. That's right. He's putting that brain to use. Look at this Protoss just sitting back. He can't do nothing. No, the the uh, really the Burton Cruiser. The I I honestly I think the best part of this whole game, this whole strategy for your father, was where that proxy is sitting. Mm. Honest to God, mm. that that is that was so good from start to finish. Even yep. though the first attack was a bit of a blunder, yep. it has allowed him to do some pretty nasty things. You're right too, because when you think about it, if he did a first attack with the Burton Cruiser and it died. And his Stargate, or Starport, sorry, was at his base. He'd have to wait for that slow-ass unit to go from one end to the other before he could attack. Which gives Protoss enough time to rebuild, get reestablished, and even start gathering up more overcharge to keep him back uh, more and more. Yeah. Having that proxy there allowed him to keep the aggression pretty much full time. He always had a Burton Cruiser there to fight. If one died, he had another one. And it got to the point where they weren't dying, and then they started building up because the Protoss couldn't push out against those mines. What the Protoss needed to do in that game was to immediately tech into Colossus, b get rid of those uh, Widow Mines, and all he had underneath was those Marines and that bio. He would have been able to clear that out. Even one Colossus mm -hmm. there, pushing with a, a, some of his units and having that one or two storms, would have been enough to hold off. But it's much easier said than done when you have such a good player poking at you every second. You're under yep. pressure. You know you got that tournament pressure as well. And you know that you have to get those Archons out eventually to push out. So you're going to keep building those high temps. All you're thinking of, I need this gas for my high temps. I need this gas for those Archons. You're not really thinking, I need this gas to get some Colossus so that I can actually get the hell out of my base. Yeah. Uh, a really good job there from your father. Uh, and this just in, it is 11 shots from a Spore to kill an Oracle. They do 15 plus 15 damage to bio, so that's just 15 because oracles aren't bio. So 15 damage per shot. They have 100 health and 60 shields, so it's 11 shots to, to take it. That doesn't I was making a horrible assumption that, that the oracles had the same amount of health and shields for some reason. That's why I thought 5 when I thought that a couple of shots had almost taken out the shields. There is no way it's 11 shots. Well, that's what that's what people are, are saying. We'll find... Somebody can, can wrap it up for sure. There is uh, no way. But, that's, that just does not seem right. That just does not seem right. Maybe it's because there's always a queen there, and I feel as though I die it's much entirely quicker. entirely possible. But 11 shots for one oracle? It sounds like a lot. That sounds insane, dude. It sounds like a lot. That sounds insane. I don't so. know. I'm, I'm just saying that people in chat were saying... I'm not saying this shit. Somebody in chat was saying this. Wow. And so we'll let Twitch fight out with YouTube. Uh, I that is <laughs> that that would be mind-boggling for me because eleven just seems ludicrous. Um, wow. Yeah. I, I if they said if they said something like eight, I'd be like, okay, all right. Still kind of weird, but okay. Eleven. Wow. It's aggressive. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen. That is, uh, that's going to be it. Uh, make sure to check out our sponsors, LootCrate.com. This month's October's theme is time. By the time you see this video, it may be another... Um... Man, I am drawing dead so much today. <laughs> Another theme. It's another theme. Another theme. I don't know what November's is going to be, but go check them out. If you want a chance to win a free subscription to Loot Crate, link is in the description of this video. Uh, alongside, if you're watching this on stream, you can type in exclamation giveaway. Uh, also, G2A and your Woodwatches promo code BOSSES, guys. Thank you so much. We'll be right back uh, right after this.